Hello everybody, my name is Sejarion Hampton. I'm a graduating senior at James Madison Academic Campus in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Today I'm going to be talking to you about compounding. What is compounding, you ask? Well, compounding is the ability of an asset to generate earnings, which are then reinvested in order to generate their own earnings. In other words, compounding refers to generating earnings from previous earnings. Now I'm going to explain compounding and how you use the rule of 72 and rate of return inside of compounding. Well, the rule of 72 is how long it will take for your money to double, which is very important when you want to find out how much you will get, especially if you're talking about the rate of return, because that affects the rule of 72, which will affect how long it will take for your money to actually double. So say you have a savings account. A savings account rate of return normally generates 1%. When applying the rule of 72, you'll have to do 72 divided by one, which will take you 72 years for your money to double. And now we're gonna talk about stocks. What are stocks, you wanna ask? Let me go show you. Well, what is a stock? A stock is a type of security that signifies ownership in a corporation. It represents a claim on a part of a corporation's asset and earnings. There are different types of stock. There is common stock and preferred stock. When you're talking about the differences, common stock usually entitles the owner to vote at shareholders meetings and receive dividends. Preferred stock generally does not have voting rights. On the other hand, it has a higher claim on assets and earnings than common shares. Here's a mini example. You want to buy three shares out of a 20 share building or company called Ted's Creations and you pay for it you have three out of 20 of the shares, you now own 15% of the share market. So I'm gonna put this back up, one second. Um, so now that you understand what stocks are, I'm gonna use the rate of return being four to 6%, I'm gonna use 6%. So you would do 72 divided by six, which will only take you 12 years for your money to double. It doesn't get any better than that, does it? Well, you're wrong. Bonds. Let me explain bonds to the, new, the newer people into financial literacy. What is a bond? A bond is a debt investment in which an investor loans money to an entity, which will be a corporation or the government, which borrows the fund for a divine period of time at a variable or fixed interest rate. Who are bonds used by? Bonds are used by companies, municipalities, state and sovereign governments to raise money and finance a variety of projects and activities. Owners of, bo of bonds are debt holders and creditors of the issuer. Now I'm gonna put this back up now that you have a better understanding of what a bond are. We're gonna say it generates 12% because it normally generates eight to 12%. If you're doing 12% of the bond, then you'll do 72 divided by 12 which will only take you six years for your money to double. It doesn't get any better than that, does it? Well, you're wrong again. The higher the risk, the greater the reward. The higher the risk, the more a chance you will fail. If you're willing to take the risk and become a venture capitalist or a VC, your rate of return will become 24%. And when you think about 72 divided by 24 equals three. Three will mean you only have three years for your money to double. That's the high risk, which means you're not guaranteed to succeed, but you will get a great reward if you do. And that's all I have to talk about compounding today.